Yes, yes. This is your boy, Mr. Yee Yee. You know, no limit hauling and junk removal. You already know who this is, the educator, you know, letting you guys see everything that we go through and every job that we do and, you know, our uh, journey in junk removal and um, everything that we do here. You know, this is just another video. And, uh, you know, today's, today's video we want to talk about is, you know, clients and, you know, Get in those lifetime clients and get in those clients to, you know, always use you, you know, for more and more and more and more jobs that put more and more money into your pocket, you know, and a lot of people don't realize how important it is to, you know, start that, uh, you know, not just following on here, but, you know, clients who follow you and clients who will reach out to you all the time from little pickups to small pickups to big pickups. You know what I mean? And, you know, the thing is that, you know, you want to, you know, you want to do all these pickups. You want to be everywhere and do everything that you can. But sometimes it could be so hard, you know, and so frustrating, you know, even when you don't even get a job in a, in this junk removal business. But, you know, it's all about patience. But uh, today's topic really is about, you know, clients and, you know, <clears throat> what will small jobs do? What can small jobs lead to? And, you know, offering so many services in junk removal. There's so many things that you can offer in junk removal that help you out, that get you, you know, a bigger job, that can get you more jobs by just helping out that client who wanted that small job. You know what I mean? A lot of guys, you know, a lot of haulers out here are going to say, now nah, our minimum is this, our minimum is that. But if you're a new person in, in, this, haul, in, in this junk removal business, I suggest you be taking every job out there. You know what I mean? Be taking every job, offering services, just offering your availability, offer your service because you want to put your name out there and let them know who you are. You know, I love doing little small jobs. A lot of people, a lot of people see me do these small jobs. A lot of my competition sees me do this small job and they may laugh at me. But you know what? I can care less if people laugh at me because you want to know why? You want to know why? At the end of the day, I don't see them. They're not in my house. They're not at my birthday parties. They're not at my family situations. So, you know, who cares what people think? You know what I mean? Me, over here at No Limit Hauling and Junk Removal, I love small jobs. I love small pickups. I love filling up my trailer. I love filling up my trailer and getting and just getting it, getting it. And then, you know, getting rid of the items that I don't want in here anymore and giving and bringing them to a different home or or giving it to people and rehoming everything, you know. I love small jobs. Don't get me wrong. If I have a big job, I'll call in backup. You know what I mean? But, you know, I, I, I stay ready so I don't have to get ready. That's just it. You know what I mean? And, you know, but, you know, a lot of these small jobs, a lot of these small jobs you're going to get, you can do all by yourself. And you know, all these small jobs add up. And guess what? When you do these jobs by yourself, you're the one who's getting paid. You don't gotta pay employees. You don't gotta pay for help. You don't gotta pay your guy. You don't gotta go, go buy your guy lunch. You don't gotta pay for lunches. You don't gotta pay for waters. When you need help, you gotta take care of all of that. You know what I mean? You're gonna wanna feed your team. You're gonna wanna make sure your team has water and everything. And if you want a snack, you're gonna have to give your guy snacks. You'd be surprised. You know what I mean? How many haulers uh, 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 feed they peep a uh, team, baby their team, and take care of their team. And at the end of the day, you, the owner, pay for all that. So, you know, me, small jobs all add up because when I do these small jobs, you know, I'm not just, it's not that I got a small job. It's that I got another lifetime client. I got another client who's going to refer me. I got another client who's going to give me a Google review. I got another client who's going to give me a Yelp review. I got another client who's going to talk about me at uh, uh, at their work, at their employer, to their friends. And they're going to say, I got a guy. I got a client who's always going to reach out to me and, you know, call me when they need something, when they have a question or answer. Can you take this? Do you take that? Do you take this? Do you know someone who takes that? Yeah, I know someone. Me. So, you know, 
you have to build a relationship. You have to build this situation inside, you know, inside of your community and your county and wherever you're at. You know what I mean? You have to build up all these situations and let people know who you are by taking all these small jobs. Take all these small jobs. Take all the jobs you have to take. Because at the end of the day, it's a payday. It's a very, very big payday. You know, it may start off with one job. Then you get two jobs. Then you get three jobs. Then you got four jobs. Ah, da, da, da. It don't matter how many jobs you got. As long as you have a job. So, you know, as long as you're bringing in revenue, you're bringing in revenue. And you know what I mean? That's how it starts. You have to, you know what I mean? Not go after, you know what I mean? The big shots, but just go after the small shots. And all these small shots are going to end up adding up. And, and, you know, at the end of the day, people know who you are. You're going to have more photos. You got to have these little pickups to, you know, post on your, post on your social medias. How are you going to post on social media if you have no photos? You, you know why I say that? Because I was that person. I had social media, but I had no photos. You know what I mean? So I had no job until I got my jobs and I built it up my portfolio, my collage of pictures. Now I can post on anything I want because I have photos of mattresses, of appliances, of hot tub removal, of uh, of uh, furniture, of house cleanouts, apartment cleanouts, senior citizen cleanouts, garage cleanouts, backyard cleanouts, side of the house cleanouts, trailer rentals, small pickups, big pickups, trailer uh, 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 tr uh, truckload pickups. I have so many pictures of so many jobs that I've done. It's ridiculous that, you know, I'm so happy and so, you know, uh, uh, thankful that I did um, documentate everything from the beginning. I did take pictures of everything. Everybody's always like, oh, hey, hang on. He's taking a picture or a video. That's right. That's right. And if you don't like it, hit the road, Jack. That's what I tell my guys. If you don't like it, that's what I do. Yes, take the picture of me. You know what I mean? So now my team, they already knows. They already know I'm getting befores and afters and middles. And that's just it. You know what I mean? That's just me. The more you build up, the more you build your portfolio, the more the public, the uh, your, your, your fans, the more the public who, who are going to hire you, they want to see photos. They want to see, okay, he says, I need a hot tub removal. They, they would like to see some pictures of you having a hot tub removal. And, you know, there's so many things that I could talk about and, you know, I remember, you know, and there's so many topics that I could talk about that I'm going to talk about, you know, in the future. And, you know, but today's a topic is, you know, small pickups, all these small pickups, they all matter, you know, bust all the moves. Don't refuse any jobs right now, you know, pick them all up, you know, <clears throat> but make sure, you know, you know, your prices and how you going to know your prices when you're new and you're, you know, you you're new at starting this business. You're only going to know your prices by keep on getting more jobs and learn and learn and learn. You know what I mean? You only can learn so much from YouTube University. I only learned so much from YouTube University. I only can learn so much on this whole situation because I had to go out there in the real world and, you know, learn from it. And that's just part of it. You know what I mean? You know, but the main thing today is that, uh, you know, more interaction, more meetings with the public, the more jobs you offer. And, you know, it's okay to ask your client, you know, it's okay to ask your client, do you mind if I ask how much the other guy charged? You know what I mean? And sometimes they, they'll tell you. They will absolutely tell you or they may get Pinocchio on you and tell you a different uh, price. But sometimes you're going to know the price for this. You know, especially if you have a nice trailer. If you have a nice trailer, you can just pick up so many loads. So many loads. You can pick up so many loads. But, you know, some of us can't just start with this type of trailer. Whatever you have, you know, make it work. But you got to keep on getting more and more and more jobs. So, you know, offer those specials. Offer those single pickup specials. Offer those appliance specials. Offer those uh, mattress removal specials. Offer those furniture removal specials. Offer, you know what I mean? Anything, any, anything, you know what I mean? That you can put your hands on and remove from their property for them. But just be careful. You know what I mean? Be, be, be very careful and, you know, be ready for it. Because there's some situation you're going to get into and you're going to be like, wow, what I get myself into? Whoa. 
whoa, you know what I mean? But that's how you're going to learn. You're going to learn, trust me. And, you know, learning this business is not for free. Learning this business costs you time, costs you money, and costs you effort. And if you get those three things locked in, you're going to learn a lot quick. And you're going to get it. And you're going to be successful. You know, I didn't get to where I'm at right now. You know what I mean? By not learning. I still learn. I'm still learning. I'm learning how to get a thousand. I'm learning how to get a thousand subscribers right now. Some of these haulers out there are probably laughing at me because ah, he only has 500. You know how hard it is to get 500 subscribers? <sighs> That's not easy. And all the editing, all the videos we do. All, you know, this, this shit is not easy at all. But it's all good because, you know, I'm going I'm to get it. I'm going to keep on going. I set goals for myself. I look at my goals and I achieve my goals. You know what I mean? I want to become a business owner. And guess what? I achieved that goal. I wanted to leave my employer and start my own business. I achieved that goal. I wanted a nice car. I achieved that goal. I wanted a nice house. I achieved that goal. You know what I mean? I wanted to change my life and get married. I achieved that goal. All the goals I achieved, I went out, I went out there and got them and got it. And you know what I mean? Put my hands in the dirt and got it. And you know, this job is not easy. You know, a lot of times we deal with all this dirty stuff. We deal with so much dirty stuff. So many, you know, uh, biohazard shit that we deal with, you know, from rat poo poo to all kinds of shit. You know what I mean? But you know, this is what we chose. This is what you chose. So, you know, you better be about it and you know, Go out there and meet all your new clients. Go out there and meet clients. You know, let them know who you are. But, you know, don't be afraid to just, you know, take pictures and photograph all your small pickups. You don't got to glorify only the big pickups and, 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 you know, try to put this certain image that you got only you got only full loads and this and that and you're just that. Or take photos of how many times you've been to the dump and show all your receipts. And, you know, you don't got to do all that. If you got to do all that, you're kind of only... You're kind of just showing off, you know what I mean? When you have, when you gotta, when you gotta show all these photos all over Facebook, flood the market with all these photos, you're kind of just showing off. That's all you're doing, you know what I mean? If you have a nice good template, if you have a nice few templates, a nice good uh, 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 photo with your information on it, a flyer that you know you download it to a PDF, and now it looks nice with a PD with a uh, file into PDF, and then you could download that PDF to your uh, 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 phone inside of your photos. Boom. Start to upload those nice pictures. You know, upload what you offer. Don't upload. Don't, up, you know, what I'm learning is don't upload what you did for the day. Upload your services that you offer. You know what I mean? And that's just it. Upload, you know, junk removal uh, 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 services. Upload hot tub removal services. Upload, you know, garbage removal uh, services. Upload, you know, small pickup specials. Upload, you know, uh, furniture removal specials. Upload, you know, you know, appliance removal. Upload, you know, whatever. You know, if there's a bird, if there's a nest in that tree, upload, I remove nest. No problem, but upload what you do and upload your special so people already know, you know what I mean? And that's just it. Put the most important things on your social platform that mean the most, like what you do and your services you offer. So they kind of already know, you know what I mean? It's cool to post a picture once in a while of your jobs, of what I did, what I did. But when you start posting like, you know, 20 something pictures, what I learned, a lot of times they don't care. Because they're just looking to get their junk removed. And that's it. You know what I mean? That's it. It's what I learned in. What I've learned. It's how you talk to your clients. How you hear them. How you hear them. And how you interact with them. And of course. Of course. The most important thing of all. How you charge them. Because it's all about money. At the end of the day. They're paying you for a service, but everybody wants to feel right for when they buy something. Just like when you go out to dinner and, you know, you order that nice uh, a restaurant plate. That plate better be eye appealing. And, of course, mm, 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 what do you mean? Oh, boy, oh, boy. It better look good on the plate that you just want. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? And that's just it. So when you go in clients' houses, you know what I mean? You want to know what you're doing and you want to, you know what I mean, have that type of ambition. So, you know, 
Mm -hmm. This is Mr. Yee Yee. I just recommend everybody out there, you know, start small. If you're starting this business, start small. Get these little pickups. Load those little pickups up. Because a lot of those little pickups sometimes are things that you can drop off to a thrift store, to the recycle center. You know, you can you, you can recycle and rehome and get them off of your situation to get more jobs. And the more you offer these small little pickups, these small situations, they're going to come. They're going to come. They're going to say, oh, yeah, I need that, too. Oh, my God, he only has a few pickup special. Let's call him. Let's see if let's see what he says. Boom. And, you know, learn patience and learn. Go give those inter those estimates in person. When you give those estimates over the phone, they're just going to use your estimates, uh, that person's estimate, that person's estimate, that person's estimate, and that person's estimate. And they're going to fish. And that's just how it is. You know, if you got to, you know, if you're new in a business, yes, I recommend that you get some social media, that you pay for some leads. Maybe, you know, pay for a Facebook a boost, a, a Instagram boost, a next door boost. Yes, I recommend you pay for some leads. If you have the money and you can afford it and you can have them do it for you, but know your limit. And you know what I mean? Know what you can afford. If you can afford five bucks a day for them to post your ads and, and get you some leads, you know what I mean? You get one good job, it pays for all that. You know what I mean? A lot of times, you know, you listen to those other haulers out here. I don't pay for leads. I don't pay for this. I don't pay for that. They don't have to anymore. But I guarantee you when they were in the business and they first started, they wish they paid for leads. Or maybe they didn't even have leads to pay for because it was so back in the day. But now everybody's do -do 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 just like that. Everybody is gonna everybody is gonna on their phone junk removal near me. Or if you post on social media, they're gonna see, oh, this guy always posts right here. This guy posts all the groups. This guy always posts. Look what he's post. Let's call him. Okay, babe. Call him. Boom. Boom. And all because you posted, I have a special. I offer this, I offer this, I offer this. Not that you went to the dump five times today and you're the big King Kong in this and all that. You know what I mean? Yes, the other haulers may know it. Yes, you may be getting the biggest bag. Yes, you may have the biggest, you know, uh, situation going on. You may be making all that money and stuff. But that's, you know what I mean? To me, that's your personal business. You know what I mean? Me, I'm learning more so much in this game. You know, I'm learning so much more in this game that I don't have to post all that. You know what I mean? All I have to do is post my specials and what I offer. And so when people call me, they already know what I offer. They already know because they see my post. That's what I offer. That's what I do. But, you know, that's just me. You know what I mean? There's no competition. To, the only competition is you. So if you're starting this business off, this is just a little word from Mr. Yee Yee. No limit hauling out of that big 707. You know what I mean? Solano County. Northern California, where the sun is coming back out today after a stormy weather. You know, start with these small loads. Be glad that your phone rings, that you get small loads. Because guess what? Small loads turn into big loads. Just like stormy weather turns into sunshine. You know what I'm talking about? That's just the way it goes. That's the facts of life. You know what I mean? Start small. Earn your way up. Earn everything you get and start building that clientele. Start building a following. And, you know, I recommend you documentate everything you do. Documentate. Don't be afraid to be, don't be afraid to be in front of that camera. You know what I mean? A lot of people are afraid of, to be in front of that camera. Don't be afraid to be in front of that camera. You know what I mean? Documentate everything. You'll love it later because you have one hell of a story to tell that, look, I did all this. You know, I never thought I would documentate me collecting people's garbage. You know what I mean? I remember there was a point in my life where I knew a hauler back in the day, like 15 years ago. I knew a hauler and I made fun of this guy. I said, man, this guy tripping, man, picking up all this garbage, coming to our work, picking up all of our, a whole trailer load of cardboard. But guess what? Every time he came, he went straight to the office and got a check. And he didn't work for anybody. He had his own little, co his own little helpers. And that was it. And he even used our water to water down his cardboard when he went to go drop it off and then resell it to recycle it. So I should have been like, man, taking notes. But I wasn't because my mind wasn't ready. My mind wasn't mature enough to say, yeah, he's smart. Yeah, he's working for himself. He don't work for anybody. You know what I mean? He ain't making $12 an hour like I was. 
I remember those days, but not anymore. You know what I'm talking about? You know, so, you know, I just want everybody to get money. You could become your own boss. It doesn't have to be junk removal. There's so many ways to get money. There's just so many ways to get money. There's so many services you can offer in this world to, you know, get money. And, you know, start at part-time and then make it a full-time. Me, I started part-time, but I can't do it no more part-time. I had to, man, I had, I was like, man, you know, I make more in two days. I make more in one day. I make more in one day here than I make at a whole week of work. So it was, it was easy for me to walk away and say, I'm, I'm, I'm not working for the man no more. You know what I mean? And I worked for the transit authority. Yeah, I, I was making good money in the AC right here in, in Northern California in the Bay Area. I was making good money driving that bus. But, you know, it's all good now because now, you know what I mean? I'm getting that. I'm getting junk money. I'm getting garbage money. And, you know what I mean? The garbage business is a billion-dollar industry. Let me tell you that. But I start with all these small pickups and small loads. And to this day, today's Sunday, I'm still getting money, even if it's a small pickup. But guess what? That's a new client, like I said, that's always going to use you and call on you. And you'd be surprised. This client, all of her friends or his friends are going to see all their reviews and they're going to talk about them and say, yeah, I got a guy who'll come to your house and do all that. No problem. Boom, bam. And a lot of times when you go to clients' houses, their husband wants to help or their son wants to help or their grandson or their nephew or their cousin. Somebody always wants to help. So you can do this job by yourself. But start with, you know, offer these services to get your name out there. This is straight game right here. Straight game. You know what I mean? And then work your way up so you can just be, do pickups and pickups and pickups and pickups. I know a lot of haulers who don't even do hot tub removal. Who don't even do teardowns. Because they're so busy with all their pickups. They have so many pickups lined up. So many pickups lined up, they rarely do a hot tub removal. Or, 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 or a, a teardown. A pergola, or awning, a gazebo. They barely do a teardown. Because they have so many pickups and clean outs. And you know... They're just, they're just so busy just doing that. And that to me, that's the best way is just to have all these pickups. You have all these pickups, you're picking up and you're going. You're picking up and you're going. You're picking up and you're going. Then when you have those, then when you have those teardowns, you're tearing some shit down. And you know, it call, you know it's gonna take a little bit of time and effort and knowledge with tools and you gotta have a team and you gotta put your time there. Where some of these haulers are out here, they don't have, they don't, have, they don't wanna spend three hours in one location. Unless they're getting paid super duper good. That's it. They they love these small pickups. And that's something I'm learning myself. I love these small pickups myself. If I had four or five of these a day, I'll be I'll be happy, Joe. I'll be luckiest. I'll be luckier than a month. I'll be super happy. I'll be thank you, Jesus. You know what I mean? If I had five or six of these a day, small pickups, I'll be happier than a month. I won't even probably even want to do teardowns anymore. I probably, I probably farm them out to my other hauler buddies and say, "Hey, I got this job for you, but hey, I need at least seventy-five or fifty bucks of it." And guess what? They'll give it to you quick because they're gonna make a couple hundred dollars off it or more. And what's the, what is it to give you fifty bucks? And they, and and then they're gonna be interaction with that client. They're going to meet that client. They're going to get the Google review from that client. And they're going to have another lifetime client. All because you quarterbacked it. But if you make 50, 50 bucks, 75 bucks from it, whatever you make from it, you know, and then that hauler owes you a favor. And now you guys can work together when you have a bigger job. You know, it, there, 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 there's no limit to this. I'm going to tell you that right now. There's no limit to this situation right here. But, uh, you know. As you see, as you can tell, I'm holding my camera because I left my tripod at home. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's all good. I don't like bringing my tripod on me because I don't got time to set my tripod up and, um, and uh, you know, uh, video every job, every motion. Every, I just ain't got time for that. That just ain't me. I, I won't do it. You know what I mean? I thought about that in, in, in the past. I said, no, nah, I ain't doing that, man. That's just a lot of work. If you see my earlier videos, you know. You might see a tripod and me uh, uh, fast forwarding the, the time lapse of, that I did the job. I don't do it no more. You know what I mean? But, you know, all little jobs are going to make you, not break you. They're going to make you. So get out there. 
Start doing your situation. Start letting everybody know who you are. Pick up all these small jobs and get that money. That's just it. Get that money. The season's coming up. If you're hopping in the game right now, you're lucky because the season's about to start. Trust me. And it's going to go to the moon. And you're gonna phone's going to be going off, but they got to know who you are. I'm trying to tell you. I'm only telling you because of my experience. You know, this is Mr. Yee Yee, No Limit Hauling. Make sure you like and subscribe. Support the movement. Keep on subscribing. If you're a new viewer, make sure you subscribe to my channel. There's so many videos coming out. There's so much education with this junk removal. Every time I learn something, I make a video so you learn from it too. And you know, that's just what it's about. That's just what it's about, baby. Everybody helping out. Everybody educating. And, you know, let's go out there and get this money. You already know what time is it. This is Mr. Yee Yee.